Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This will be a reading for the 11th to the 17th of October. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what does and leave what doesn't. Uh, for this week, Aquarius, I will be doing the Celtic Cross for you guys. So let's see what the universe has for Aquarius, please. Aquarius. Okay. Gosh, okay. Well, Aquarius, we begin with the present situation with the Seven of Swords. In the crossing, we have the High Priestess. Something is going on, Aquarius, that you, you've been knowing about something for some time. You've had this feeling inside of you. Um, something that you've been wanting to find out and um, you know that once you find this thing out there's some sort of mystery here once you get to the bottom of it here we have the king of cups you uh, believe that this is what can uh, bring you this sort of um, emotional truth, so to speak. Uh, it seems like there's a person here that you could possibly involve, be involved with or someone around you that you, um, you've, been, you've been waiting on an answer. They, they've, they've, perhaps it's them. They've been waiting on, on, I think, like, trying to also get your attention, but there's something going on here. There has been some sort of um, ending with a, a, a new beginning, because whatever has ended has started a new beginning. Um, and that held you in a place where where you it's a discovery that's what I'm getting there's lots of messages here of some sort of discovery uh, something that you discovered possibly about this person um, and I don't see that it's a bad thing it's just something you were hoping to get an answer from um, but I do sense that this person is sort of happy to provide you with, with whatever it is that you were looking for. Um, Aquarius, I see that there is, there is, um, this person seems to be quite, there's a maturity and intelligence here coming through. Um, here with the Seven of Wands, uh, you know, possibly there's been some sort of competition maybe. There's a, comp it, it's, it's, it's just something coming through that maybe there was someone else competing for this person's attention. Um, but, um, I mean, that, that's, that was short-lived, very short-lived. Um, it could also be something that this person seems to want to fight for you. And then here with the self, we have you as the world. So yeah, you recognize that this person wants to fight for you. They're, they have nothing to hide and they're, they're offering you something. Um, and they see you as the empress. People around you see you as the empress. You know, you're, you, 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 
you you're going to look or you already do a quiz look like you are um, someone that has you know their fulfillment with love with happiness you are in a position where you um, can have it appears like you can have whatever you want um, we have the Ten of Cups as well, which is like one of the happiest cards in the deck. Ten of Cups brings love, marriage, family life. We have the World, the Empress and the Ten of Cups. So this um, offer is coming together with, this, with, a, with an offer of commitment. Um, and we do have the Three of Swords as the outcome, which I'm definitely going to clarify. I'm going to clarify especially because the, all the other cards seem to be very strong um, in terms of going in one direction, the direction of love um, and, and commitment. But I did sense earlier that there was something uh, that may be that you, you, you know within you, within your intuition, there's something in your gut that there's, you need some sort of clarity. There's something that you know needs to change. So let's see, why do we have the Three of Swords for Aquarius as the outcome? Why do we have the Three of Swords? Because I have to say here with the world, you know, you've sort of... Um, Come to that change where you, you've, you've got that um, person or the person finally has you, you know, you've got their um, attention and it's come full circle, it's come to that like cup of love sort of thing, you know, the world of love and you've become the empress and you have your like, this is like the happily ever after, the ten of cups. So why do we have the Three of Swords? Three of Swords for Aquarius, please. Let's see. Oh, the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups. Six of Cups could be something to do with the past, good memories, fond memories, but it also could be your soulmate card. So, um, it's all pointing to everything else here where it's, you've, you've got, this is your soulmate. This person knows you're their soulmate. Um, and I don't think that they're going to give up on you. That's for sure. Okay. So then we have, we have the eight of pentacles. I don't, as I was saying, I don't think they're going to give up on you. We get the eight of pentacles, which, which means, uh, like, working hard, continuously working on something. And it just answered as I was speaking. So, you know, you could possibly come into some issue that um, will, but this person will, com will completely sort of always be there to show you just how much they do love you. And they're not gonna give up. What else do we have for Aquarius? So in the, you know, you could have had some pain in the past that may be brought up, but this is, this person in this relationship, in this new relationship, is not going to allow you to have that heartache anymore. They won't allow you to have any heartache. They will show that they are serious about this love with you. And we have the five of wands. The five of wands. So, um, yeah, they're not going to stop. Let's just say that. They're not going to stop here with the five of wands. Um, they want to continuously build things with you, work with you, try to please you, you know. If... Uh, if, if they know whatever it is that will make you happy, they're going to try and provide it for you. Like some other clarification. Let's see what this is. 
and we have the seven of pentacles so it's this there will be a stability there finally because everything seems to be going very very strong so it just seems like any kind of um, instability that you may find yourself in will be short-lived this person absolutely loves you and kind of will be there to save the day for you to save the day again as i say save the day five of swords comes up so yes they're not going to allow you to be hurt in any way you know maybe it's a job that you're in that you know um that can be quite difficult and and this person is there to to have you forget anything bad during the day ace of swords ace of swords this is the the clarity that i was talking about before truth will be revealed victory success this will be very successful as we have here so there is a lot of if you just believe believe your intuition as it's saying here you know you're you're going to discover that possibly this love was worth it um not to end things as soon as you see something that is um not what you expected to continue working on it that is one suggestion that the cards are saying and if you can and if you do just stick by it rather than just give up so easily because it could be just some sort of miscommunication you will get so much success in this because you know this is your soulmate so let's see what the moon cards say i have the moonology cards here let's see what messages the moon cards give us for aquarius please what do you need to release exactly what do you need to release something from from the past what do you need to release with the waning moon balance spirituality and practicality well i think this is perfect what's coming out full moon and pisces balance spirituality and practicality yep Try to align yourself, your heart, your mind, your soul. And one more card, please. Luck is on your side. <laughs> New Moon and Sagittarius, luck is on your side, Aquarius. Yep, luck is on your side because this person uh, will fight for you. This person wants to make you happy. They want to make you happy. And when, when, and, and you will find your own happiness anyway. There is a lot of happiness here, by the way, in you. And when you believe in yourself and listen to yourself, a lot of good does come from that. Uh, things work out really, really well for you very quickly. You may notice that. So, well, this was, a, was I like this reading a lot, Aquarius. Uh, there's a lot coming in for you i hope you enjoyed this if you did please like share and subscribe and i hope to see you in the next reading thank you